how do macro bets do when you're betting against flexible and truly global multinationals? Yeah, generally not very well. That's a pretty difficult uh, trade to make. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure I would be doing that. Why not? What, what is the, the distinction here? You take Siemens as just one example. They've got 14 businesses or whatever. And am I right that it's not a Europe bet? It's a global bet, and investors forget that every day. It, it is very much a global bet, and these companies have lots of financial flexibility, and they move things around, and they generally, things are never quite as bad as people fear. Okay, when does it get as bad as people fear, Howard? When does it get as bad as people fear? Well, I think we're, yeah. I think we're a ways away from that. I mean, uh, the global economy is doing quite well right now. That doesn't mean it's going to be doing better six months from now. It may be more in a slowing phase then. But right now, we've got the, a lot of cylinders firing. Uh, I, I would not be betting against the global economy right now unless you really think we're going to have a spike in interest rates. And heck, that's possible. Uh, we're at 294. If we went to, on the 10 year, if we went to three and a quarter, three and a half over the next six months, that would be from, you know, turbulence and stocks would follow. But I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think rates are going to get out of hand. I don't think the inflation scare is going to overwhelm us anytime soon. Uh, this is not the 1970s. And uh, are, we, are we facing some uh, issues in terms of capacity in various industries and with respect to labor? Yes. But uh, I, I think we've got some, still some, uh, some room to go with this, uh, with this expansion.